And you can also have this to the back of your head. <sighs> you know, there's a lot of people who aren't happy with their lives right now. I completely understand things happen in people's lives. You may lose somebody, you may lose something. Just something inconvenient may happen. I'm not trying to be like a motivational speaker or whatever, but most of the things that make us upset, most of the things that get us mad, most of the things that make us quote unquote depressed. I know some people are like, oh, my problem is too big. You don't understand my problem. Quite honestly, I think people who haven't been through the same thing you've been through can see clearer. Because when you're in that situation, you let your feelings guide your emotions. When you let your feelings guide your emotions, you usually end up doing something bad. We have to learn to be content with what we have, and I feel like that's where most sadness and all that stuff comes from. It comes from us caring too much about what other people think of us. And honestly, we just gotta, I'm not saying be selfish, but exactly the opposite of that. Don't focus on yourself. Focus on anything but yourself. Because when you focus on yourself, you focus on what you want, and then when you don't get what you want, you get mad. That's just a little word for something i don't know y'all might disagree but <laughs> whatever but just follow me to my amazing bathroom oh i know y'all probably looking at my outfit right now yeah i know have this tucked in it's trust me this ain't an outfit i'm, I'm untucking my shirt all right but today i'm going to be showing y'all a whole bunch of different hairstyles i could do if y'all have medium to short dreadlocks what i consider medium length dreadlocks is dreadlocks that go down to my chin i guess and long dreadlocks of course down my back but i consider these short but a lot of y'all have like half the half the length of my hair and y'all like i can't do any hairstyles with my dreadlocks i'm gonna be showing y'all some hairstyles y'all could do with short dreadlocks or dreadlocks my length or dreadlocks even longer than mine now i know y'all are probably tired of hearing me talking i'm just getting on with the video bro all right i'm gonna get on to the video now this one i have a i have a headband it's kind of stretched out i broke pff, a lot of these so hey if you have a big head like mine just keep in mind you're, you're gonna probably break some of these all right ball jokes aside what type of hairstyles can you do i'm gonna show y'all something you could do without a headband this is a really really simple one y'all probably won't even consider this a hairstyle but some of y'all probably don't like your y'all's hair your face like me I, sometimes i get really annoyed when my hair is like just my eye because it, it like all my hair like kind of clumps together right here and like it just gets in the way and stuff but here is a hairstyle y'all could do y'all don't wear hair in your face just like this but y'all probably like that's not good enough y'all could also if y'all twist your dress your uh, dreadlocks to the front they're most likely going to stay to the front so what you want to do if you want your dreadlocks out of your face is twist them but when you retwist twist them back so they stay back my hair is really to the length where all of it would just go back naturally it goes back when it's wet because it has more weight to it but it doesn't quite go back now but it goes back some people don't like the way this looks i like the way it looks but i just haven't rocked it like that in a while i know this is even hair all right i'm just playing i'm about to get into some other hairstyles you've probably been waiting to see you can always two strand twist your hair it's a very very simple but very popular hairstyle even for people who don't have dreadlocks but if you have dreadlocks it is super simple what you want to do is take two dreads like this and twist them around each other but don't twist them too tight but twist them tight enough to the point where it will stay uh twisted what you want to do is take the dreadlock and basically switch hands with it and keep going in a counterclockwise or clockwise motion however you however you're doing it, it doesn't really matter and you just do that and i'll see y'all when i finish Now, when you get to the tip, it gets a little, it gets a little tricky because some of y'all may have like kind of loose hair at the end. Just twist it as best as you can. And if you can't get it all the way, then take the end with one hand and just kind of twist it, twist the end in the direction that you're going. And it should stay together a little bit. See how it like flares at the end like that? That's what should happen. 
and boom, you got a two strand twist. It will stick up like this. And if you don't plan on combining your dreadlocks, I won't recommend washing your hair with these two strand twists in because that will most likely get your hair all locked up with, like without you even knowing. Like this can easily lock up in a month if you don't pay attention to it. So if y'all don't want y'all dreads to combine, just keep a lookout for it because it can lock up very quickly. Yeah some hair tie headband whatever hair tie i think that's what it's called here's some hair tie hairstyles first one i don't know what to call it honestly put this over your head put it around your neck don't choke yourself you want to bring this part up like this take the front and move it back move it back like that and if i have shorter hair i might not be able to pull the band back as far as i can you might have to keep the band kind of close to your hairline. So like you may not want to push it too far back because your dreads aren't that long yet. And this is also another way to keep your hair out of your face. But going from this, you will also push it all the way back and go from the sides and push it back as well. This is one of my first times I'm trying a ponytail type thing, which obviously all my hair isn't going to fit in because I'm going too far back because my hair isn't that long, so I can't reach all the way back there yet. When you do that, you basically just want to scrunch your hair back. You don't want to scrunch it with the band, but with your hand, because it will naturally stick out. So you just want to put it like that, and boom. Oh, I, ha I actually haven't tried this hair, so. These dreads right here, you can just tuck them in with some dreads that are tightened, and uh, boom. Don't look too bad, don't look too bad. Here's a look from the back, see it? But yeah, that's just a simple ponytail. And here's an extremely popular hairstyle. I love this hairstyle. Many other people love this hairstyle. I call it the pineapple. You take this, same thing, put it over your head, put it up, and you want to take all of the band. You want to take the sides of the band and scoot it up. And you might need to go to the back, adjust it, go to the sides, pull it up a little bit. You pull it up to where your hair is on top, where your dreads are flaring out on top of your head, and boom this hairstyle is a very popular hairstyle amongst a lot of people you see rappers wearing it i used to not be able to pull off this hairstyle because like all my hair would stick up like this see little did i know all you have to do if your hair is stiff like this is pull it i mean of course it's obvious but so just pull your hair like this and you can pull it down a little see how some strands are hanging down how some dreads are hanging down now that's kind of a cool look as well. And you can just do a lot with this hairstyle. It's just, it's just overall a really good hairstyle. Some people also have different variations of this and they basically take the front rows of dreads. And you can also have this to the back of your head, right? You have these in the back. Some people also put it up like this. You take some from the back, just like how you did to the front. You take some out of the, from the back out which kind of cool, I guess. And the cool thing about these hairstyles as well is your hair doesn't have to look that nice. You don't have to have a fresh retwist. Some people also put their hair in like different sections. Like they do have like two pigtail type things. And you definitely don't want to make sure that you're pulling your hair too much because you shouldn't feel much tugging on your hair. If you feel tugging on your hair, you're pulling it too tight. And y'all definitely don't want to do that because that could result in I believe it's called traction alopecia, which basically means your scalp chokes the hair out of its out of the scalp. So we have this. Yo, this is this is kind of cool. But also, I don't think anybody would do this. But don't wash your hair with your hair like this, cause it will lock like this. Like I remember when my hair was standing up. I might put a picture right here or something. The only reason it was standing up was because I would put a headband on. Do that kind of like pineapple thing. When my hair was wet, I would do that and then I would like go to sleep on it. And when your hair is wet, it forms that way. I also have this other uh, hairstyle y'all can see in this corner right here. Yeah, I don't, don't get on me. All I'm saying is you can do anything with a hair tie or two or three or four or however many hair ties you want. You can do so much stuff with dreadlocks. Like you see all these rappers, like The Weeknd, you saw The Weeknd's hair when he had those crazy freeform dreads. And he was basically seen as an icon. 
Now, I'm not saying go out and try to be an icon. That's not the point of what I'm saying. I'm saying don't be afraid to try new hairstyles. Don't be afraid to try something weird. Some of the stuff is fashionable. Like, nobody thought ripped jeans was going to be fashionable until now, basically. People are like, why do you have ripped jeans? You got those out of a dumpster? But nowadays, that's like the most expensive clothes there are, ripped jeans, ironically. All I'm saying is don't be afraid to try new stuff, try stuff. Don't try to seek attention from it. That's not my point. I'm saying just try to do something different with your hair. It's kind of cool and it makes other people comfortable to do different things with their hair. But yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you like. If y'all want to see more hair videos or whatever, make sure y'all sub. Wow, that was a, that hurt my shoulder. Make sure y'all subscribe and turn on the post notifications if y'all want to be updated whenever I upload a video. But besides that, I'll see all y'all in the next video.